Nigeria in the battle against terrorism. President Tinubu thanked Harris for the call and her words of encouragement on the efforts taken so far on the economy, but added that the developments in the Niger public dampened spirits. He said ECOWAS under his watch would do all that is necessary to restore democracy in Niger while counting on the support of the U.S. or Nigeria. President Tinubu craved for more private sector investment, urging the U.S. to lead the way in this regard. Speaking with the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, President Tinubu said he was doing everything possible to resolve the impasse in Niger, while expressing the hope that the situation in Niger could still be reversed for better. He said ECOWAS would require UN support for restoring democracy and building institutions in that country. Guterres had earlier pledged the commitment of the UN for Tinubu's peace efforts in Niger. Meanwhile, following the coup in the Republic of Niger that has appended the constitution of political leadership in the West Africa country, the chairman of ECOWAS Authority of Heads of State and Government, President Bola Tinubu, will host a special meeting of the regional leaders on Sunday, July 30th in Abuja. President Tinubu, as chairman of the ECOWAS, in a statement he personally signed, condemned the current political situation in the neighboring country and promised that ECOWAS and the international community would do everything to defend democracy and ensure democratic governance continues to take firm root in the sub-region. U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris and United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres in separate telephone calls Thursday evening with President Tinubu affirmed the support of the U.S. and U.N. for the position taken by ECOWAS and the Nigerian leader to restore constitutional order in Niger. And former President Muhammadu Buhari says he was shocked by the latest turn of events in Niger Republic. In a statement, President Buhari says he is concerned about the fate of democracy as a system of government in Niger and in the wider sub-region. And equally so, about the safety of President Mohamed Bazoum and his family. He adds that it is heartening to note that the ECOWAS under the leadership of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is already dealing effectively with the matter. He hopes and pray that the unwanted situation will be completely reversed and safety and well-being of President Bazoum and his family are ensured. Now to job creation, President Bola Tinubu has expressed the willingness of the federal government of Nigeria to support global tech giants Google Incorporated to create one million digital jobs in Nigeria. The president gave the assurance when he received Google Global Vice President Mr. Richard Gingras at the State House. President Tinubu told the visiting Google executive that Nigeria had creative and talented young people who are ready and motivated to learn, especially at this age of artificial intelligence, stressing that the tech giant has the capabilities and tools that the young people need to excel. And Google's promotion of free speech freedom of press and democracy through its platforms. President Tinubu declared that it is in public interest that free speech and free press freedom should not be impeded. National Security Advisor Nuri Badu and the Google Global Vice President USA Richard Gingrich also speak on other areas of collaboration. The Vice President assured uh, Mr. President that they are very much ready, available, uh, they are also helping us in the areas of misinformation and things that will help also openness, transparency and accountability generally in governance and in the way we do our things. We also discuss a couple of other things to do with uh, helping us how we can continue to live in peace, stability and security. Uh, those are very critical areas. It's about you know technology and today Google is in the lead, and we are very grateful, we are very encouraged uh, with the visit of the Vice President, and the President is extremely excited uh, with uh, the meeting we had. Google is committed to Nigeria. We believe strongly in the importance of developing the digital skills in your society, as we have in other societies in our own, and we look forward to being a supportive partner in that regard. What precisely are we expecting in terms of uh, helping Nigeria to fight insecurity and cybercrime? Well, I think, you know, first of all, in any society and democracy, it's important that we have a skilled society, that we develop the digital skills within that society. 
we also know that in these uh, times uh, that it's very important that we work together to address the challenges of misinformation, uh, that we also address the opportunities in building a powerful and, and substantive free press. Um, and that's what I learned here. Uh, that's what I was inspired by when I have been here meeting with many people in the community. And I look forward to returning. Now from the Russia-Africa summit, Nigeria is adapting measures to diversify the economy and address emerging challenges to reposition its destiny for greatness. Vice President Kashim Shetima Sitevi is while addressing political and business leaders at the second plenary session of the Russia-Africa summit, holding in St. Petersburg. State House Correspondent Abdul Rahman Usman Jibrila reports. Consolidation on industrializing Nigeria and diversifying its economy into sectors are part of the renewed projects of the Tinibu administration. Vice President Kashin Shatima told the session that the present administration recognizes the private sector as the foundation for growth and a veritable partner in the renewed economic agenda to foreign and domestic investors. The of the Soviet is very about investment opportunities in Nigeria, Vice President Kashim Shatima invited Russian companies to take advantage of the vast potentials in Nigeria, being the largest market in Africa, to invest in strategic areas to drive maximum benefits. On peace and security, the Vice President said, Nigeria remains non-aligned in any conflict situation, but is deeply concerned about the potential impact of the crisis on global peace and security. Calling on Russia and Ukraine to resolve their conflict through diplomatic means as that is the best option for resolving and fostering international peace and security. Vice President Shetima commended President Putin and the Russian government for convening the summit, saying the Tirimbo administration is implementing a homegrown and private sector-driven economic agenda that is predicated on good governance, infrastructure and human capital development, as well as business climate reforms with the expected outcomes in job creation and poverty reduction. President Putin, who spoke on a wide range of areas of cooperation between Nigeria and Russia, including security and defense, commerce, agriculture, and climate agenda, reiterated his country's commitment to the full economic transformation of the African continent. The Russia-Africa Economic and Humanitarian Summit is an avenue that will also push the economic reforms of the Tinubu administration. And back in Nigeria, preparatory to the screening of ministerial nominees at the Senate due to commence on Monday, 31st July 2023. The senior special assistant to the President of National Assembly Martyrs Senate, Senator Abdullahi Gumel, has asked the nominees to complete documentation by Sunday. In a statement, Senator Gomel says nominees are to submit required documents to his office located at the National Assembly over the weekend. He added that the purpose is to ensure a free exercise. President Bola Tinobu this Thursday transmitted to the Senate list of 20 ministerial nominees to Senate for screening and confirmation. Senate is set to commence the screening on Monday. Anti transport security in Nigeria is leading the way forward towards achieving a sustainable and secure transportation system in Africa. At the Chartered Institute of Transport Administration of Nigeria Conference in Abuja, experts addressed critical issues in shaping the sector. Oyinaya Kaluoka reports. Transportation, either land, rail, air, or sea, plays a critical role in the development of any country. Nigeria as a quality producer of ginger exports a ton of ginger to the U.S. with about $100. While in Mexico, this same quantity is exported to U.S. with just $10. Huge difference due to logistics. Despite we have the best, we cannot compete. You know, because they have efficient system. 
we have seen uh, cargo, export cargo, being in the queue to have access to the port for more than four months. And by the time the export gets to the ship, they have deteriorated. For key players at the Chartered Institute of Transport Administration Conference in Abuja, African countries should invest on massive transportation infrastructure and robust legal framework for economic regulation. That the transportation sector as we currently have it is still largely unregulated. Can we have a, a system that works? Can we have a system that preaches safety? Can we have a system that hallmarks security as, as the benchmark? It is important for us to agree to know that keeping a safe rules and protocols Timely maintenance and obeying other regulatory standards is only the way forward to achieving secure and sustainable mobility in our country, their country, Nigeria. Experts brainstormed on innovative solutions, practices, and strategies in tackling challenges in the transportation sector. Oyinaya Kalo Oka, NTN News. And away from transport security, President Bola Tinubu has approved the appointment of new management team for the Nigeria Customs Service. This follows the appointment of Adewale Adini as the Acting Comptroller General of Customs and retirement of some members of its management. A statement by the National Public Relations Officer of the Service, Abdullahi Mewada, emphasizes that three Deputy Comptroller Generals and three Assistant Comptroller Generals are now in the new management team. The statement further states that the Acting Comptroller General Diwali Adeni enjoined the new members of management to brace up for the task ahead. The, appointment, the appointed officers are DCG Festus Oku, DCG Musa Baba Abdullahi, and DCG Abdubashir Hamisu. Others include ACG Kamaradin Olumo, ACG Awal Baba Muhammad, and ACG Adjogu Alajogu. Now, efforts to address uh, the welfare of Nigerians at the same time, fast track ongoing rebuilding process must recognize and encourage the roles of women at various levels. Nigeria's first lady, Onure Mitinobu, made this submission when she received wives of former governors in her office. State House correspondent Adeni Taiwo reports. Since taking over the reins of power on May 29 this year, the current administration has embarked on reforms in various sectors, including energy, education, and agriculture. Even when they promise a lot of dividends, these reforms sometimes attract a bit of temporary inconveniences. Having acknowledged this fact and taken on the task of providing relief and empowerment for women, children and other vulnerable groups through a Renewed Hope initiative, Nigeria's First Lady, Olure Mitinumbu, is leaving no stone unturned to build a large base that can effectively drive the national program. Her meeting with wives of former governors at the villa is headed in that direction. These are mothers of, the, of this nation in their various stations and we need them. I, I, I can't go everywhere all at once. So I need them to represent the government and to help me with the job. So despite we, the first ladies are there, nobody's encroaching on anybody. Even if it is reaching out to the next neighbor, they should help. So if we can cushion whatever inconvenience we are going through now, it will go a long way. Women, she says, are critical to national development and as such should get more roles, a fact that our initiative is willing to push to achieve results. I thought about, you know, wives of, um, uh, in the Christian community, in the Muslim community, I've, I've tried to reach out, and also the wives of royal fathers. The, all hands have to be on deck, like they used to say, for this country to, to move forward. From the enthusiasm of our guests, it is obvious that the First Lady and her vision is in the right hands. What is happening now is a recognition that women matter, that mothers matter because we have a lot of influence in our communities, in our households. And so it's not just about bringing former first ladies together. It's about recognizing the power that women have wherever they are in their local communities. And to understand that we can't achieve any of our development goals as a nation if we do not invest in the empowerment of women. Prior to this engagement, the first lady had sought and got the nod of state governor's wives as well as female federal lawmakers for her pet project. Adini Itaewo, 
NTA News. Time for some messages now still to come. INEC expresses concern over early warning signs of electoral violence ahead of Imo Kogi and Bayelsa governorship polls. Details when we return. Allah gives power. He endowed people with knowledge and capacity to think for our people. We must not fail, and we will not fail. Your children will get more rewards than what you have, because they have a future in this country now. Have you heard? Momo is turning 12 people who refer the highest number of friends into millionaires in the Momo Refer and Win promo. There is also over 200 million naira up for grabs. How do you win? Dial star 671 Ash to open a Momo account if you don't have one. Then select option 6 to refer everyone you know. Yes, I said everyone because everyone deserves to be a millionaire. Make sure the person you refer opens a Momo account and buys airtime or data of at least 100 Naira. The more people you refer, the more cash prizes you win every week. And you increase your chance of becoming a millionaire in the Momo Refer and Win promo. Promo runs from 15th June to 9th August 2023. Momo, better than cash. Proper use of agricultural tools and equipment play a crucial role in promoting safe and efficient farming practice. Just like Mass International and Equipment Limited. As Mass International Equipment Limited, we constantly ask, how can we do and offer more for our customers? How can we innovate further and faster to help our customers to be more productive driven by a vision to provide high-tech and quality farm machinery for farmers feeding the world? We operate in accountability, respect, team spirit, and transparent. This is Mass International Equipment Limited, where we provide farming equipment to Produce world-class solutions for every farming equipment need, such as Mercy Ferguson tractors, Pritch tractors, and Swaraj tractors, etc., etc. For more details and inquiry, visit our website at massequipmentng.com or call the following numbers 0803-6531-913 or 0803-7867057. Mass International and Equipment Limited is located at Rigachukung along Zaria Road. Mass International Equipment Limited, none of its kind. This is to inform all CBN pensioners that the second half year verification exercise will hold virtually using the generally present solution GPS application from 1st to 31st August 2023. The pensioners who had been enrolled on the GPS application are required to log on to the verification application and perform the exercise within the stated period. However, those yet to be enrolled on the application or have challenges doing so are advised to go to the nearest CBN branch for assistance alongside their pensioner retiree's identity card or an Android or IOC phone if available. For further information, please call 0700-2255-226. Announcer, Management. Be the white guy. Be the white guy. I'm your big fan too. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, brother. Me go myself. I'm your rapper. Is that so? Hey, me love me not. Any day, any weather. And I'm chilling with my main guy, Fena. Then, Alpha, network problem. Yes, well, Gabby, let me turn on my hotspot. Ah, it has, it has got it. You hop on 9 mobile with confirmed data. You can't be out here stranded in this street with this guy. When you're on 9 confirmed from 9 mobile, you get a super gift of 1,000 naira just for joining the network. 900% bonus on every recharge. 100% data bonus for 6 months and double data bonus on your first recharge of the month. Get a new SIM or dial star 1 for 100 hash now. 9 Mobile. The Secretary to the Government of the Federation and Chairman State Funeral Committee, Senator George Akume, CON, on behalf of the Federal Government and the family of late General Donaldson Oladi Odia retired, GCON, announced funeral arrangement of the former Chief of General Staff as follows. Funeral service, date Saturday 29th July 2023, time 10 a.m. Venue, Cathedral of St. Paul's Anglican Church, Oladipodia Road, Odobolu, Ogo State. Parade of Honor and Interment, 
date saturday 29th july 2023 time 1 p.m venue tanimo war villa oladi bodia road okearemo odogbolu Ogo state outing and first given service date sunday 30th july 2023 time 10 a.m venue cathedral of saint paul's anglican church odogbolu Ogo state announcer Inamdi Morris Mberi, OON, Permanent Secretary, General Services Office, Office of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation. Glad to know you're still there and starting with vehicle database integration, the Federal Road Safety Corps and the Nigeria Customs Service are strengthening synergy and vehicle database integration to curb revenue laws and enhance national security. This was the main focus of the meeting between the leadership of both government agencies at the FRC headquarters in Abuja. Ulusheye Adiagbo has details. Being the custodians of the road, these two agencies of government are now strategizing to combat insecurity which has taken its toll on the nation's economy. The Federal Road Safety Corps and the Nigeria Customs Service have been working together in the area of human resource development, information and communication technology. This latest engagement is to solidify the collaboration. The road safety uh, has a mandate of uh, uh, secure road, reducing road accidents. The customs, we want to fight smuggling and ensure that vehicles whose uh, on which customs duty are not paid, do not get registered. Areas of collaboration is to ensure that vehicles without custom duty are not registered. We will stop that registration. We want also the custom to assist us to ensure that uh, vehicles imported into the country are within the accepted age limit as provided by the custom guidelines or the laws as the case may be. The acting controller general of the Nigeria Customs Service, Adewale Adeniyi, and the co marshal of the FRSC, Dauda Biu, are hopeful for an impactful fight against vehicle smuggling, improved revenue generation in Abuja, Olusheye Adiago, and C News. And on election matters, the Independent National Electoral Commission, ANEC, has expressed concern over early warning signs of electoral violence ahead of Imo Kogi and Bayer's governorship polls. Chairman of the Commission, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, at a 2023 post-election review meeting in Abuja with the Interagency Consultative Committee on Election Security urged security agencies to be proactive. Timothy Yusuf reports that the National Security Advisor Nuhuri Badiou and the Acting Inspector General of Police, Kaori Agbetoko, were part of the meeting. This meeting is a combination of both the regular consultative engagement and a review of the 2023 general election between the election management body, INEC, and members of the security agencies who are considered strategic partners in the electoral process. INEC Chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakubu emphasized that although election is a multi-stakeholder activity, driven by the commission a secure environment for the conduct of peaceful election is the responsibility of the security agencies working in partnership with INEC. the synergy enabled us to overcome many of the challenges prior to the 2023 general election including the targeted attacks on INEC offices nationwide ahead of the november 11 of cycle governorship election in imo kogi and Bayelsa states the INEC chairman explained that some specific security issues of concern were identified. While maintaining strict neutrality, security agencies should be decisive in taking action against purveyors of violence and other undemocratic activities. We have had a very peaceful election, probably the best ever in our history. We believe that we are in a position to guarantee safety of Nigerians. The NSC assured that the conduct of future elections in Nigeria will continue to improve. Timothy Yusuf, NTA News. Meanwhile, following the resignation of the National Chairman and Secretary of the All Progressives Congress, APC, 
some chieftains of the party have threw their weights behind the choice of former Kano State Governor Abdullahi Umar Ganduji and Senator Surajadeh Najibullah Bashir for National Chairman and Secretary. We, the grassroots chairman of the party, and mostly endorse His Excellency Al Haji Abdullahi Ganduji, the immediate past governor of Kano State. As, a, as the APC national chairman. We are convinced that with Abdullahi Umar Ganduje as the national chairman, the party will regain its status as the All Progressives Congress, where Nigerians shall see the true progress in the management and leaders, leadership skills of an ideal governing party. The like minds say the duo are well groomed to pilot the affairs of the party, considering their political antecedents at the state and national levels. We are very sure that you will do more than what is expected. We are not going to relent in our effort that the party and the party must recognize hard work about the religionization of our party is false. Ganduji and Ajibola have been mentioned in various sections of the media as possible replacement for the existing vacant positions at the party's echelon. President Bola Tinubu has sent his special felicitations to his long-term political associate and trusted ally, Senator Kwemi Bamdele, on his occasion of his 60th birthday, July 29, 2023. Senator Bamidele, Senate leader and the lawmaker representing a Kiti Central constituency, served as commissioner in the Tinubu administration in Lagos State. In a statement, the president described Bamidele as a trusted ally and confident. President Tinubu praised him for his loyalty and dedication to progressive politics and years of promoting the welfare of the people as student union leader, activist, legal practitioner and an outstanding politician. The president had advanced Senator Bamadele's sense of duty and extraordinary talent, passion, energy and dedication has continued to propel him into a greater future. Also, the president of the Senate, Gatswil Lopabio, has sent his felicitations to the leader of the Senate, Michael Lopayemi Bamadele, on the occasion of his 60th birthday. In a statement by his media office, Lopabio describes Senator Bamadele as a civil rights activist, brilliant lawyer, principled politician and a true disciple of President Paula Ahmed Tinubu. He added that the vast experience Senator Bamdele has garnered through years of legislative activism in the National Assembly since 2011 are assets which shall definitely assist him to succeed in his new assignment as the leader of the 10th Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The Senate President wishes Senator Bamdele many more years of service to humanity and good health of body and mind. Now to mass vaccination following the suspected outbreak of anthrax in the country. Your state government is setting the pace with the flagging of, of mass animal vaccination exercise to prevent possible outbreak of zoonotic disease in the state. To achieve wider coverage, the state intends to procure 1.5 million doses of anthrax sports vaccine from the National Veterinary Research Institute, Vom Plateau State. Yunusa Suleiman reports. The state is one of the largest producers of livestock in Nigeria, with available statistics indicating that the state has an estimated of over 7 million livestock. In view of the recent reported outbreak of anthrax in some neighboring countries, the flagging off of the animal vaccination campaign against the anthrax in Kukareta community becomes imperative to protect the state livestock resources, thereby setting the record as the first state in the country to embark on such exercise in large scale. The government has procured 1,500,000 doses of ASV vaccine to cover the vaccination exercise on the estimated lives of population of about 7 million in all the 17 local government areas of the state. In line with its policy direction of achieving food sufficiency and security, the state governor, Mema Labuni, also launched sales and distribution of neem based mpk fertilizer to farmers at the rate of 13,000 naira per bag with a strong warning against diversion and holding of the commodity this agricultural palliative is described as timely as the rainy season is now stabilizing in the state in the matru 
Yunusa Suleiman. We now join Adeola in our Lagos Network Center for more reports. Adeola. As the world continues to work towards attaining the Sustainable Development Goals, Lagos State Government is working with the Kingdom of the Netherlands to adopt circular economy which requires turning waste to wealth for environmental sustainability across the metropolis. This informed uh, part of the message by Governor Babajide Tsongwulu at a two-day summit on circular economy hotspots organized by the Ministry of Environment in Lagos. Musa Toliat completes the report. Circular economy seeks to build a restorative economy through regenerated environmental resources which supports new forms of economic production and consumption. Circular economy would provide a different approach to the way we use resources, building models to drive the resigns of systems, services and goods. Governor Babajide Sonwulu hinted that Lagos State government will leverage on the outcome of the summit to create a circular economic roadmap to build sustainable business opportunities. I strongly believe that the current geosocial political climate gives us a unique opportunity even more for reasons for us to reevaluate the resilience of our value chains to eliminate wastes and pollution and circulate products and materials at their highest value and regenerate nature. The concept of circular economy is already gaining transition in developing countries. And all the innovative ideas we see today is an indication that Nigeria is not left out. The Kingdom of the Netherlands and United Nations Industrial Development Organization expressed readiness to work with Nigerian government to address environmental sustainability initiatives for economic growth. We are currently subsidizing the Dutch company Closing the Loop to work on realizing another first, the first electronic waste recycling facility in Africa also here in Lagos State. Currently, UNIDO is collaborating with donors, development partners, and national stakeholders to effectively support Nigeria and state governments to manage plastics, solid waste, e-waste, and pollution. The theme of the two-day event is Towards a Secular and Resourceful Economy, the Future Lagos. Musa Toliad, NTA News. As the climate continues to change with planet Earth at the receiving end, conversations and ways forward have always dominated gatherings of environment experts globally. One of the effects of climate change, though coupled with human factors, is flooding. Lagos, a coastal state, is on the red alert and uh, authorities concerned are working tirelessly to mitigate effects of flooding in the state. Hengino John Adams tells us more. The water is starting to come up and any time from now it will almost come and leaving, leaving little lands. At the end of the day, sometimes we have it is another rainy season and tales like this are very common among people residing in flood-prone areas. Apprehension is already high among those residing along river banks as they live with the reality that water from the Oyon Dam will soon be released. Here at Tele Dalashe, the community is totally cut off as the bridge serving mobility purpose has since collapsed forcing them to resort to the use of canoes. There is a uh, peg that with this is last year, it still remains, that we didn't remove it. So that by the time the, water, the level of the water goes up, then we will now put the plank on it. For residents of Etiosa, which sits in between the lagoon and ocean, this period is what they dread most. The community that uh, beside the ocean here, they cannot channel the drainage into the ocean. They will not accept it. Rather, we channel it to the riverside. As a way of mitigating effects of flooding in such areas, emergency management bodies are taking enlightenment campaigns to residents. Like this community, once they, they've seen that there is a threat of rising water, they can move, the community around this place can move to the upper land, like the upper area. The population that are prone are in millions. So with that, we move in here, to command them, tied out advocacy, 
sensitization to try to inform them that they must be prepared. With all these measures in place, Nema and Lasema believe impact of this year's flooding will be reduced. In Lagos, Hinginu, John Adams, NTA News. And be reminded that you can still follow this news broadcast live on our website at nca.ng live and on our other social media handles displayed on the screen for updates. We'll take some messages and when we return, Benny Adams will be giving us the latest in the business world to so stay with us. Who wants to tell me the answer? Good. I my heart, this way. I give my soul. You get my time and dedication. <laughs> Hey, stop that. You know, get waiting for life. Where I know if you do. Cause all the dream where we don't dream must to come true. It must to show for you. Cause it's show for me. Together we will ride against the mountains and wait to make you dare with me. Cause I dare for you. Together we will ride against the mountains and wait. The Advanced Way with Glow LTE Advanced, the power of three data networks in one. Get a Glow SIM or dial star 301 hash. That's right, you too could be one of the 20 Zenith Bank customers that will win 150,000 Naira every two weeks from June 1st, 2023 until May 31st, 2024 in the Zenith Better Life Promo 3. To qualify, simply open a Zenith Bank account. For more information, visit www.zenithbank.com forward slash better life. Live the better life with Zenith Bank. In the heat of the summer, walking on the road feels like walking on hot coals. How do I cope with this heat? Hmm, and how do I cope with that bad odor? By staying 5 degrees cooler. Body odor is caused by germs, and on hot days, the sweating and odor are more. That's why you need to get the new improved Dettol Cool Soap, which offers up to 5 degrees instant cooling sensation and protects you from 99.9% .9 odor causing germs. Enjoy sports made for you. Recipes made for you. Entertainment made for you. Learning made for you. Enjoy YouTube made for you. Get amazing video data bundle offers on your mobile phone by simply dialing star 312 hash today. YouTube made for you. If you want to become something, become a child again. Why be a patient? If you must worry, then worry about winning. Why worry about germs? When you come home, bring tales and stories. Why bring in germs? Shield your families from germs. When Dettol is a part of every household bucket, then you and your family can stay protected from up to 100 illness-causing germs. Everyday use of Dettol keeps my loved ones protected. Stubborn dark marks? Try new Nivea Lumina 630. Visibly reduces up to 10 years of stubborn dark marks in just 4 weeks. New Nivea Lumina 630. Get even and luminous skin. How do I cope with this heat? By staying 5 degrees cooler. Body odor is caused by germs and on hot days, the sweating and the odor are more. That's why you need to get the new improved Dettol Cool Soap, which offers up to 5 degrees instant cooling sensation. Hello, with everybody for you. Wow, that's Say hello to GoTV's newest package. GoTV Super Plus has all the great channels you love on GoTV Super. Plus, big time international and kids channels the whole family will love. Plus, plenty of live Premier League action on Super Sports Premier League channel. It's the package. 
how do I cope with this heat? By staying 5 degrees cooler. Body odor is caused by germs and on hot days, the sweating and the odor are more. That's why you need to get the new improved Dettol Cool Soap, which offers up to 5 degrees instant cooling sensation. Good to know you're still here and this is news coming to you from Africa's largest TV network, the NTA. And I'll say, welcome to business. Ahead of International Investment uh, Trade and Commodities Summit to be hosted by Nigeria, trade experts have expressed confidence in Nigeria's potential in the quest to increase exports of made in Nigeria products and services through international partnerships. This is as Interministerial Committee meet to ensure success of the summit. We want to take advantage of all market access opportunities for our goods and services, and we are more specific and direct in that regard. We recall the, the continuous reference to patronage of made in Nigerian goods and services, and we also continue to refer to the opportunity that exists uh, in the context of Africa and the context of African continental free trade area and the potentials that exist for us. If anyone wants to invest their capital, they want to make sure that the capital they invest they can regroup it. Secondly, Nigerians eat and consume what we do not produce. We have to now learn to produce what we need first before we export. Still on growing the economy, the federal government is deepening ties with other agencies to revamp the economy using the special economic zones, a free zone variant for a more robust economy. The free trade zone scheme, which generated a total of 35.1 billion naira for the economy as customs duty in 2021, is to aid widespread economic growth. This is the belief of the Nigeria Export Processing Zones Authority. The reason the authority and oil and gas free zones authority are extending a hand of collaboration to the Nigeria Customs Service for more revenue to aid government spending. Look at what others are doing and let's just emulate them and do it better to make things easier for investors to come. Nigeria should be the choice, especially now. Instead of sitting here to reel out our issues, one by one he thought we could have a committee of uh, a joint committee between this on the left and one on the right to sit down and look at these issues. Uh, bringing in investments, earning forex uh, to the economy, uh, skills uh, transfer, and of course creating employment for for Nigerians. These are all very very noble objectives, and whatever it takes for all our stakeholders to have a shared understanding, we must do that. The Nigeria Export Processor Zones Authority has attracted a whooping $364.6 million in foreign direct investment between 2020 and the first quarter of 2023. And moving on to the markets, at the end of the last weekday of trading on the exchange, a total of 459.7 million shares in 8,051 deals, corresponding to a market value of 5.345 billion naira were traded. Compared with the previous trading day, today's data shows 10% decline in volume, but 11% improvement in turnover. The current market capitalization is 35.4 trillion naira. United Bank for Africa recorded the highest volume of traded shares, followed by Jopo Gold Ventures and Access Holdings Limited. Well, that is Business News. Network News continues with Olaji De Bello, but after this short commercial break. Head of the Civil Service of the Federation wishes to inform invited guests and the public that the earlier venue for the gala and award night to mark the 2023 Civil Service Week, which is to take place 28 July 2023 at the State House Conference Centre, has been changed and the new venue is now International Conference Centre. And the time is 7 p.m., not 6 p.m. as earlier announced. The head of the Civil Service of the Federation, Fola Shade Yamiasang, regrets every inconvenience the change in venue might, might have caused all invited guests and the general public. Sunday, 30th July 2023, Thanksgiving service, Exosia Church of God, Jahi Abuja, time, 10 a.m. Head of Civil Service of the Federation, Dr. Fola Shade Yamiasang, CFR, announcer. <laughs>
Club Joy on Licht Ticht. If you want to become something, become a child again. Why be a patient? If you must worry, then worry about winning. Why worry about germs? When you come home, bring tales and stories. Why bring in germs? Shield your families from germs. When Dettol is a part of every household bucket, then you and your family can stay protected from up to 100 illness-causing germs. Everyday use of Dettol keeps my loved ones protected. You and your hair go through a lot. The heat, rain, chaos. It's a non-stop war against total breakdown. But just like you, your hair can stay strong no matter what. Mega Growth Break Free Daily Leave-In Strengthener for all hair types is infused with a unique blend of natural oils and conditioning proteins that helps protect your hair. Mega Growth Break Free, your daily defense against breakage. Hey, welcome to the Star Times 35th anniversary celebration. <laughs> to say thank you to every Star Times family for being an integral part of our journey. Star Times has decided to give you a prize slash on decoders. Yes, we are slashing the price of our antenna decoder from 8,900 Naira to 7,500 Naira and the dish decoder from 13,300 Naira to 9,900 Naira. But that's not all. Existing subscribers can recharge for two months on their current bouquet and get upgraded to the next higher bouquet. And if you recharge on the classic or super bouquet, you will receive a fantastic reward of extra 15 days of free viewing. You can enjoy our top local and international content. So, what are you waiting for? Quickly, visit any Star Times outlet around you to recharge or buy your decoder between June 12th to August 31st to enjoy this fabulous offer. Wow! Yay! Let the celebration begin! Star Times, entertain your family. How do I cope with this heat? By staying 5 degrees cooler. Body odor is caused by germs and on hot days, the sweating and the odor are more. That's why you need to get the new improved Dettol Cool Soap, which offers up to 5 degrees instant cooling sensation. Hello, with everybody for you. Say hello to GoTV's newest package. GoTV Super Plus has all the great channels you love on GoTV Super. Plus, big time international and kids channels the whole family will love. Plus, plenty of live Premier League action on Super Sports Premier League channel. It's the package. Many thanks for being there. Gumbay State Government is working out modalities towards finding a lasting solution to the farmers' headers' clashes by constituting a special committee for the assessment of grazing, forest and game reserves, as well as cattle routes in the state. Abbas Meikano reports that the government also inaugurated five visitation panels for all the higher institutions of learning in the state. The inauguration of committee for the assessment of grazing, forests, game reserves and cattle routes is in line with Governor Muhammad Inouye's vision of promoting peace for economic advancement. Once we succeed in doing this, naturally it has to be to all other states doing the same, so that the whole country, especially the north, where there is prevalence of others, will have at least a peace of mind and there will be fairness, equity and justice. The committee, under the chairmanship of retired AIG Zubair Moaz, is to determine the number of gazetted game, forests, and grazing reserves, as well as the size of such lands in Kuroj. It is also to identify blocked cattle rules with potentials of causing disharmony between farmers and herders, as well as recommend the way forward. I want to believe everybody will have a checkbook in terms of the experience of what the what his excellency stands for and what he wants to be the reposition of the to better and better life. Also inaugurated are five special visitation panels at the State Institution of Higher Learning. In Gombe, Abbas Mekano, MTA News. For stories trending in the sporting world, let's join Gift George, a sports update. In basketball, the defending champions of the FIBA Women's Afro Basket Championship, Nigeria's D-Tigress, began their campaign to win a record fourth title in a row with an impressive victory over Congo at the championship ongoing in Kigali, Rwanda. The Reina Wakama-led Nigerian girls beat Congo DR 69-35 in their first game. Nigeria will now take on Egypt on Sunday.
In another news, a war of fame has been unveiled in honor of Nigerians' contingent to the 1976 and the 1980s squad of the Green Eagles at the Nigerian Institute of International Affairs in Lagos. The possibility of a multi-city hosting of the 2034 World Cup by West African countries formed part of the program. They are now happy. Something is being done for them in their name, see, perpetually etched on a wall. In hockey, all is now set for the National Hockey Super League, which begins Saturday at the hockey pitch of the Package B of the Moshud Abiola National Stadium, Abuja. 13 clubs are participating in the men's category, with 9 clubs competing in the women's category. I'm using this medium to be able to now invite you and all stakeholders to come to the hockey pitch and see what Nigeria has as far as hockey is concerned. The Nigerian supporters clubs are soliciting the support of the federal government and well-meaning Nigerians to intervene over what they describe as injustice over their visa denial by Australia, the co-host of the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup. It's just surprising and shocking that Australian embassy who took us unaware will submit application all necessary documents asked for was submitted. We should come to our aid and praise us for what we do. We should be celebrated, not humiliated. This is our selfless, willingly service to our country. We are great ambassadors of Nigeria. We sponsor Bates, Gifts George, NTA News. And up next is weather forecast for Saturday 29th, July 2023. Hello and welcome. Friday night thunderstorms are expected to linger into the early hours of Saturday morning to give prospects of thunderstorms to parts of Bauchi, Gumbi, Adamawa, Taraba, Kaduna, Kebi, Zamfara, while light rains are anticipated to parts of the FCT, Plateau, Ninja, Benue, Kwara. Isolated rains are anticipated down south. As we go into the afternoon and evening hours, better prospects of thunderstorms are expected to the north and the north central region of the country with higher intensity of rains down south. I am Theodore Itun. Thank you for watching. And that concludes the network news. Many thanks for being a part of it. I am Olajide Bello.